So hi Amanda, welcome. Um, I'm really glad to see you in this office. Um, uh, when you called me earlier this morning, your sons um, really want to see me today. So how can I help you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I sound so French. I'm just at my wits ends, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So how's your life in your home front? Oh, it's difficult to explain because on the surface everything would look like it appears very nice, but inside I'm just dying. Well, when you're saying you're dying, um, what do you mean? Well, I've been going through very slow and painful. Oh, it's a very delicate thing to talk about, you know? Okay. Well, Amanda, um, it seems that you're going through some really challenging situation. Yes. Um, please let me know as far as you are comfortable with. Um, it will be easier to see what options are open. Doesn't matter. Never mind. Well, when there are some challenges at home, um, how do you and your husband um, try to solve it? Well, we try to communicate, but I always end up feeling like really, really guilty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, guilty because... Guilty because my husband makes me feel I'm like an alien for not doing some of the things he wants me to do. Okay. Hmm. Uh, is it because the man's in the relationship? Yes, you see, I grew up in a very, very religious family. And I am, I guess you would say that I'm quite straight laced. So some of the things that my husband wants me to do, um, I'm very, very uncomfortable with. They make me feel like I. Okay, so if I understand that correctly, um, your husband's demands are too much for you and it makes you feel very, very uncomfortable? Yeah, I am. I realize I have to take action. I cannot take it for one more moment. And I have to do what I have to do. And I went out and I bought a baseball bat. Oh, okay. Wow, a baseball bat. So let, let me have a guess. So what, what do you want to do? Well, I am going to put it beside my bed. And when he asks for me to do those things, those dirty things, I am going to smash him with a bat. Okay, so like you are planning to hit your husband? Yes, you? I'm planning to hit my husband. Okay, so um, have you ever thought about that? Like because of this, and it will affect your children, and because of that, like you may involve into the police. You may even at the end you have to have a like a court strength order or something like will happen I to know, you. I know I haven't thought it out carefully. Okay. Uh -huh. I just don't know what else to do. Don't you think those are not a very attractive option? They aren't. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I just don't know where, what else to do. Okay. Well, so I think this kind of like psychological pressure that you're going through right now, I think is very, very common for uh, different families. Yes. Well, have you ever had a chance to see a counselor? No, I suppose I'll need to see one after I smash his head open, though. Okay. Well, it seems to me that like in your current state, um, if you go home, and that will be some trouble between you and your husband. Um, so right now, do you have a place to stay? Or perhaps your uh, husband may have some time off? Well, I I I'm tired of running away. I, I feel empowered, I feel strong. I feel that I can solve this problem by mm. using the bat. Okay. I I'm tired of feeling like nothing. I'm beginning to feel as if things don't change, I don't know, I can't live like this for much longer. Okay, okay. Well, do you have family members that, like, you can stay with them for a day or two? No, my family lives all mm -hmm. back east, and, oh. and I just don't think there's anybody. Mm -hmm. So what about any close friends around? No, I don't okay. have any close friends that would take me and my family in. Okay, so okay. Um, have you ever thought about going to shelter? No, I never really thought about it. Okay, so there's uh, quite many shelters around in the city. So, um, you know, you can have some time out, and I think that it would be a very good option for you. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but I don't need a counselor. Uh, I'm not the one who's making demands. If anyone needs a counselor, it's my bloody husband. Well, well, just please calm down first. And I understand that it's like, um, you know, you don't want to see a counselor, but have you ever suggested that to your husband? 
Well, many times, but he, of course, he thinks there's nothing wrong with him. He thinks okay. it's me who's the one that's sexually repressed and a freak. Okay. Well, how about, like, first, come first things first. Um, let's arrange for you to go to a shelter first. And then, like, um, you can stay there for a couple of days. Um, and let's have a, a chance to speak with your husband, and I may be able to arrange another person, another social worker to see him. How's that sound to you?